Hello friends. In my last video, I told you that uh, in the next time we'll discuss about the words problem of linear equations in two variable. So I have selected some words problems and one by one I am discussing. I have taken the first question. This is five years hence the age of Jacob will be three times that of his son. Five years ago, the Jacob's age was seven times that of his son. What are their present ages? So in these type of questions, first of all, we have to divide these questions in some parts. Like the first part is five years hence the age of Jacob will be three times, three times. Okay. So here we are considering uh, first we'll read the question properly, go through the question and we'll see the last line that says the what are their present ages. That means first of all, we will consider that the present age of father is equal to suppose X years and the present age of his son is equal to y years okay and then we'll arrange in the equation form so I start solving it let let the present age present age of jacob be x years present age of jacob present age of father is equal to x year and Present is of his son B by years. It's okay. There's a first line. You see, five years hence, hence means after. Five years hence, the age of Jacob will be three times that of his son. So we are taking a condition that after five years, hence means after. After five years, after five years, the age of Jacob will be age of Jacob will be in present age x years of Jacob. So after five years, his age will be. 5 more than x, that means it is x plus 5. x plus 5 years. It's okay. The same condition, the age of his son will be after 5 years. Age of his son will be after 5 years. The age we have considered as y, so age of his son will be y plus And condition is given in the first line that Jacob will be three times that of his son. So as given, as given, first I am writing the age of father x plus 5. Second I am writing the age of son y plus 5. Because there is an equal sign and this is the age of father after 5 years, age of son after 5 years. The condition is the age of father will be three times. So for balancing this equation, we will have to multiply it by three to the age of son. Now this equation will become balanced. So x plus five is equal to three y plus 15. That means x minus three y is equal to 15 minus five. That is 10. It's equation number y. Now we are going to the next line, which says, Five years ago, now, five years ago, five years ago, the age of Jacob was seven times that. Huh? So five years ago, first of all, we are finding the age of the Jacob before five years. Five years ago the age of Jacob was x minus 5 years and age of his son was 5 years ago age of his son was y minus 5 by minus 5 years. 
during that time, that time the second line says the Jacob was seven times as old as his father. So now, therefore, we'll arrange the equation in the form x minus five is equal to y minus five, and the father was seven times. So that means this seven will be multiplied with the age of son. So it is coming x minus five is equal to seven by minus seven five ja thirty five. So that means x minus seven by x minus seven y is equal to minus thirty five plus five. That means minus thirty. This is equation number two. Now we are using equation number one and two and uh, finding the values of x and y. So here I am solving. First equation x minus three y is equal to ten. Second equation x minus seven y is equal to minus thirty. So you know that how to solve the question by elimination method. We will change the sign. It is minus. This is plus, and it is plus. Cancel. Seven y minus three y. It is four y. Is equal to forty. Therefore, y is equal to ten. That is one. Put y is equal to ten in equation number one by one. So when you put y is equal to ten here, the ten three is a thirty minus thirty will be shifted here plus thirty. So x is equal to forty. X is equal to forty. And we conclude like that. X we have considered. X is considered as a present age of Jacob. So we'll write here. Hence, the present age of Jacob, forty years, and present age of his son is ten years. So the answer is the present age of Jacob, forty years, and the present age of son is ten years. What problem? Sum of the digits of two digit number is nine. Also, nine times the number is twice the number obtained by reversing the order of digits. Find the number. Okay. So, what is in this question? Find the numbers. So, we are finding the numbers, but as you know that for finding the numbers, I think we need the digits. So, we'll consider. First of all, we are taking two digits. Let the digit at unit place and digit at tens place. Let the digit. Let the digit at Unit place B X. Digit at unit place B X, and digit at digit at tens place B Y. Then what is the number? For explaining the number, let me give you an example. Then I'll tell you. Uh, boys, first uh, suppose we have twenty-four is a number. So this is the twenty-four. In this twenty-four, four is the unit place, whereas the two is the tens place. So with the help of these digits, how the number is formed? Let me tell you. Twenty-four. If I want to write twenty-four, so I have to write two multiplied by ten plus four. What is the meaning? Four. To the right side, there is a four, which is unit place. Plus tens place is multiplied by two, multiply by ten plus four. That means the structure is unit place on the right plus tens place multiplied by ten. So it becomes ten to the twenty plus four twenty four. So that means the number is formed like that with the help of the digits. Now coming here, let the digit at unit place be x and digit at tens place be y. Then the number. On my right, unit place x plus tens place always multiply by ten, so it is coming ten y. This is the number. In the question, they are saying that by reversing order of digits, so the number reversing the order of digit by reversing the order of digit. When we reverse the digit, then the number will be formed. Again, coming to here, the numeric term is a twenty-four. If we want to change the number by reversing the digits, so it becomes forty-two. 
and how to write 42? 4 multiplied by 10 plus 2. We analyze these two terms. Here the structure is same. Unit place was 4. Now here is a unit place 2. If the tens place was 2, the tens place 4. So the difference is only multiply sign as it is, 10 as it is, plus sign as it is. Only the unit place and digit uh, tens place are interchanged. The same thing we are doing here by reversing the order of digit. So reverse digit 10 as it is. This x will be shifted here and y is here. This is reversing order of digits. Okay. So now we have got two numbers. This is the main number and that is the reversing order of numbers. First line says sum of the digits of two digit number is 9. So there is no problem at all as given because we have two digits x and y. Sum of the two digits is equal to 9. So x plus y is equal to 9. That is equation number. Second line, also 9 times this number. So I am writing this number. And number 10y plus x is equal to the reverse order of number is 10x plus y. Now saying that the 9 times this number, this number is multiplied by 9, is twice the number, second number will be, 9 times this number is twice the number by reversing the order of digits. So it is coming 9 times 90y plus 9x is equal to 20x plus 2y. 90y minus 2y, it is 88y is equal to 20x minus 9x, it is 11x. We will make a simplest form of this equation. Divide by 11, so it is coming 11 8, 8y is equal to x. This can be given as second equation by equation number 1 and 2. By 1 and 2. First equation x plus y is equal to 9. In place of x, we can substitute 8y. 8y plus y is equal to 9. 8y plus y, 9y is equal to 9, therefore y is equal to 1. Y1, equation number 1, x plus y is equal to 9, in place of y we can put 1. So x plus 1 is equal to 9, therefore x is equal to 8. So that means x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 1. In the question they are asking that find the number. They are not asking find digits, find the number. So the number is, hence, hence the number, number actually 10y plus x, 10y plus x. So that means 10 in place of y, 1 plus x, 8. 10, 1, 10 plus 8, 18. So hence the number is 18 and its reverse number is 81. Friends, in place of 1, it is actually x. So 10y plus x, 10 into 1 plus x is 8. So it is 18. Next word problem. Places A and B are 100 km apart on a highway. One car starts from A and another car starts from B at the same time. If, they, if the car travel in the same directions at different speeds, they meet in 5 hours. If they travel towards each other, they meet in 1 hour. What are the speeds of two cars? So what is the condition is places A and B are 100 km apart on a highway. For example, this is a type of highway. We are taking two positions, which is A, here is a B. A and B, there are two places. Distance between them is 100 km. First position A, second position of B. And their difference is 100 km. Condition is, one car starts from A, second car starts from B. 
If they travel in the same direction, they meet in five hours. If they travel travel towards each other, they meet in one hour. We are finding their speeds. So we are considering suppose the speed of first car that means which starts from A. There's a first car. There's a second car. So I'll consider let the speed of let the speed of first car starts from a b x kilometer per hour at the speed of second car speed of second car starts from b b y kilometer per hour it's okay First car accelerator per hour, speed of second car 5 km per hour. We are taking, there are two different cases, case 1 and case 2. In case first we are taking, they are traveling in the same direction. Case 1. If they travel in the same direction. If they travel in the same direction, they meet in 5 hours. So if they travel in the same direction, the distance covered by first car in 5 hours is equal to 5 multiplied by x. That means it is 5x kilometer. Distance covered. Distance covered by first car in 5 hours is equal to 5x kilometer same as distance covered by second car in 5 hours is equal to 5 by kilometer car starts from A it is covering 5x kilometer in 5 hours. Second car B is covering 5 by kilometer in 5 hours. As given, may I write here 5x minus 5y is equal to 100. Reason being 5x, distance covered by this car is covering 5x kilometer. Second car is covering 5 by kilometer and because the difference between two places A and B is 100 kilometer, that means the distance covered by first car will be definitely more than 100 kilometer than the first car, second car. So 5x minus 5 by is equal to 100. Therefore, the minus sign is coming here because the distance covered by both the cars is 100 kilometer. The gap between A and B is 100. So 5x minus 5 by is equal to 100 divided by 5 to make a simpler form of this. It is coming x minus y is equal to 100 divided by 5. It is 20. First equation. Second we are taking case 2. Case second. In case second, if they travel towards each other, they meet in one hour. That means the distance covered by first car in one hour, 1x kilometer. Distance covered by second car in one hour, one y kilometer. And their direction is this. And they are meeting in one hour. That means the sum of their distances is equal to 100 kilometer. So in case second, I can write here distance covered by by first car in one hour is equal to 1x kilometer. Second, distance covered by second car in one hour is equal to 1 by kilometer. And again, as given, 1x plus 1y is equal to 100. 
why there is a plus sign because both the cars they are covering the distance 100 km there is a plus it is equation number y 1 and 2 x minus y is equal to 20 and x plus y is equal to 100 again using elimination method y y cancel 2x is equal to 120 therefore x is equal to 60 and y is equal to we can put x is equal to 60 here so x is equal to 100 minus 60 that is 40 that means finally we concluded hence the speed of hence speed of first car 60 km per hour and second car 40 km per hour. So the speed of first car is 60 km and speed of second car 40 km per hour. The question, Ritu can row downstream 20 km in 2 hours and upstream 4 km in 2 hours. Find her speed of rowing in the still water and the speed of current. So from here you can see the question find a speed of rowing in still water and speed of current. So we are considering suppose the speed of rowing in still water. Let the speed let the speed of rowing in still water be x kilometer per hour and speed of current be y kilometer per hour actually speed of current be speed of stream y kilometer per hour friends there are two conditions upstream and downstream so first let us understand what is the meaning of it we are talking about downstream 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 that means the boat is rowing in the flow of water that means in the same direction is considered as a downstream so in downstream what happened speed of rowing will be x plus 5 kilometer per hour because the speed of rowing in the still water that is at that is x and speed of current is y that means the speed of boat that means it is x plus y in downstream condition upstream in upstream what happens the speed of rowing in still water x and speed of current y so in upstream that means actually the speed of current which resists the speed of rowing in water so therefore the speed of rowing will be x minus y kilometer per hour now we are arranging two equations the downstream x plus y kilometer per hour and upstream x minus y kilometer per hour. Condition is Ritu can row downstream 20 kilometers in 2 hours. As given 20 kilometer, 20 distance upon speed because it is downstream, downstream is x plus y. So 20 upon x plus y is equal to this is the relation you know that distance distance upon speed is equal to time distance 20 speed x plus y is equal to time first equation and second upstream 4 km in 2 hours 4 km in 2 hours distance 4 
upstream x minus y is equal to time again 2 hours. So these are two equations we are having. x plus y will be shifted here. So 2 into x plus y is equal to 20. Therefore, I can write x plus y is equal to 20 upon 2. That means it is 10. And here is x minus y is equal to 4 upon 2. That is 2. Cross multiplication. So the equation is x plus y is equal to 10. And x minus y is equal to 2. Using elimination method. Y, Y cancel, 2X is equal to 12, therefore X is equal to 6. Put X is equal to 6 in X plus Y is equal to 10. So this is 6 plus Y is equal to 10, Y is equal to 4. That means the speed of rowing, hence, hence the speed of rowing in still water is speed of rowing in still water is 6 km per hour and the speed of current is equal to 4 km So an important question from the miscellaneous means optional exercise of the same chapter linear equations. A train covered a certain distance at a uniform speed. If the train would have taken 10 km per hour faster, it would have taken 2 hours less than the scheduled time. And if the train were slower by 10 km per hour, it would have taken 3 hours more than the scheduled time. Find the distance covered by the train. So, okay. so the last line you will see the find the distance covered by the train. As you know that distance is equal to speed into time. So I am considering here let the speed of train be accelerator per hour and the time taken be y kilometer. Let the let the speed of train be x kilometer per hour. And time taken be y r. Speed of train accelerator per hour, time taken be y. Therefore, distance, distance covered by train. is equal to x y kilometer is it okay speed of train accelerator per hour time taken y kilo y r and the distance covered by the train is equal to x y kilometer now we are arranging it after reading one by one line of the question First is, if the train would have been 10 km per hour faster, it would have taken 2 hours less for the scheduled time. So here I am writing, friends, x multiplied by y is equal to xy. Actually, this is speed, it is time, and that is distance. Speed into time is equal to distance. Now see the first line. If the train would have taken 10 km per hour faster. 10 km per hour faster. This is the speed. So speed will be added with speed. X plus 10. It's okay. It would have taken 2 hours less. Time is Y. Would have taken 2 hours less. Minus 2. When the term is balanced, it is an equation form. x plus 10 is equal to y minus 2 is equal to x into y. We'll solve it. xy 
x multiplied by minus 2 minus 2x plus 10y 10 multiplied by minus 2 minus 20 is equal to xy 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 cancel it is coming minus 2x plus 10y is equal to 20. So we'll make a simpler form of it. We will divide by minus 2 to the entire equation. So it is coming x minus 5 by is equal to minus 10. We can give this as a equation number 1 and again I am arranging in the same format x multiplied by y is equal to xy. We will consider this as a speed into time is equal to distance. Now I'll go through the second line. If the train were slower by 10 km per hour, speed, slower by 10 km, slower that means the speed is minus 10 km per hour. Then it would have taken 3 hours more. Time will be more plus 3. Then the distance is same. Because in both the cases, you know, the distance remains same. Again, multiply two bracket xy plus 3x minus 10y minus 30 is equal to xy. So cancel 3x minus 10y is equal to 30. This is equation number 2. By 1 and 2. By 1 and 2. First equation x minus 5 by is equal to minus 10 and 3x minus 10 by is equal to 30. Again using the elimination method multiply this equation by 3. So it becomes 3x minus 3 5 of 15 y is equal to minus 30. 3x minus 10 y is equal to 30 it remains as it is sign change cancel minus 5 y is equal to minus 60 therefore y is equal to 60 upon 5 it is 12 put y is equal to 12 in which equation x minus 5 y is equal to minus 10. So it is coming x minus 5 12 is equal to minus 10. Therefore x is equal to minus 10 plus 12 5 to 60. So minus 60 will be a plus 60. That means it is coming 50. x is equal to 50. Finally they are asking find the distance covered by the train. Hence the distance Distance covered by the train, so distance is equal to x into y, x multiplied by y, x is, we have got it x 50 and y is 12, 12 multiplied by 12 5 is 60, 600 kilometer. So the distance covered by the train is 600 kilometer. Okay boys. So these are the words problem which I have taken and uh, my comment box is empty still. I think you are you're not sending your question inquiries. So I think you will send the question inquiries so that I will help you. Thank you.